Now for this part we've got to find the standard deviation sigma of x and to do this we should be familiar with this particular formula that the variance of a random variable x is equal to e of x squared minus e of x all squared. Now in the previous parts we we're given e of x squared, we worked it out in part c as being 9.8 and e of x is the mean. So in part b we worked out what e of x was, although they didn't call it that at the time, they just said find mu, the mean, which equaled 3. So we just need to substitute these values into here. This is going to be 9.8 then minus 3 squared. And if you work that out, we've got 9.8 minus 9, which is 0.8. Now, the standard deviation is related to the variance because it is the square root of that. So, therefore, we've got the standard deviation, we'll just write it in words, okay? Standard deviation sigma, okay, must equal the root then of the variance, 0.8. And if you work that out on your calculator, you'll get 0.8944 and so on, which when rounded, say, to three decimal places or three significant figures, it's going to be 0.894, let's say, to three significant figures, 3SF. Okay, so I hope it's given you an idea on that one then.